Yesterday, this young 10-year-old boy named Jesus came in and his mom was carrying him. And she told us he's 10 years old now. He had a wheelchair when he was three that they had been using since then. 10-year-olds don't fit in three-year-olds' wheelchairs. And she came to us and she was desperate because she can't carry him anymore. He's gotten too big. We were looking at him and he was really just super tight and struggling to even like lift his head up because he had been carried his whole life. We started off with some therapy to kind of loosen him up and stretch him out so that he started looking around on the table. And so we were finally like, he needs a chair, he can't be carried, or he'll spend his whole life basically looking down. It broke my heart when we realized that there wasn't going to be a chair for him. He really needed a chair and they sent a couple of people to come get wheelchairs from another location. They were only supposed to get one because there are so many children who need chairs and at the last minute someone said, why don't you just bring two? And that second chair, it was perfect for him. And we put him in it and he fit and he was so happy and he was looking around and I, I'm getting emotional now, but it was, <laughs> it was just a godsend. And the beauty of it is that chair can grow with him now. His life's changed forever and that's a miracle. There's no such thing as coincidence. It was God. Thank you, thank you so much. It's such a great help. And I feel so happy, so content. Thanks for helping my little angel. Once we had got him in the chair, he started looking around and he was a completely different child from the one that first got carried in, who couldn't look around, wasn't really smiling, and he was laughing and he was he was squealing with just happiness. He didn't have words, but it was like he was seeing the world for the first time. Gracias. Now, in his chair, he can see it all the time. <laughs> <laughs>